We're following breaking news out of Tacoma this midday. New developments in the wake of that deadly ammonia pipeline leak that happened earlier this week. Let's get right out to Action 3 News reporter Nick Starling. He is live in Tacoma with the latest. Nick, what can you tell us this afternoon? Good afternoon, Deanne. We're here in Tacoma where you can see behind me they still have Highway 75 going northbound blocked off because that evacuation order is still in effect. I just got off the phone with Burt County Sheriff who tells me that those 23 homes, over 40 people are still evacuated. However, there were a few people who did kind of break that evacuation order and did go back to their houses to attend to some of their needs. And he had to basically tell them to get away because it's still not safe. Technically, the air quality is still not safe enough for those people. People will be back in their houses and doing their normal everyday things. He did tell me that it is harvest season and so it's a pretty busy time for a lot of the farmers here. He does understand the needs for a lot of these people to go back home and attend to their farm animals and to their crops. However, he says it's still not safe to go back home. Of course, we'll keep you updated on this evacuation order and see if it gets lifted for those residents to go back home tonight. But it's still, again, not safe to go back home for those people. We'll keep you updated on later shows. Reporting live in Tacoma, Nick Starling, KMTV Action 3 News.